Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, I wanted to put a quick review up on my channel, too, of a movie I checked out last night. Uh, Drag Me to Hell put out by Scream Factory pretty recently. Um, uh, I hadn't seen this since it came out in 2009 in theaters. I remember thinking it was okay. I didn't think it was the greatest film. Um, but I'm not the biggest Sam Raimi fan for some reason. Like I, I really like uh, Evil Dead. Evil Dead 2 is okay. Uh, I like Army of Darkness, but then he kind of... There's just some of his style where it's a little too goofy. I mean, it's fun and everything, but it's just not... He's not one of my favorite directors. Let's just put it that way. But uh, this is essentially like a, a curse film and stuff like that with uh, gypsies and all that. Uh, kind of has like a thinner type vibe. But uh, this chick, I don't know. I don't remember the girl's name. Um, da -da -da, Allison Lohman. She is like a bank. She's like a bank teller. Or not a bank teller, but like a loan officer. She gives out loans, approves them, or uh, denies them. And she's dating Justin Long, and Justin Long's parents are telling him to break up with her because she has no future and all that. So she's feeling the pressure in that sense, and her boss is having like a promotion to bump someone up to like the general manager of the store. And she's seeing this Asian dude that works at it is going to get the job. So she's trying to do everything she can to get the promotion. And this uh, gypsy woman, played by Lorna Raver, she comes in begging for an extension on her house, and it's obvious she's not going to be able to pay it. She's asking for another loan. She's had tons of loans already, so the boss basically tells her, "It's up." Uh, tells Allison Lohman, "It's up to you. Make the hard decision." You know what I mean? So she basically denies her the loan, which is going to kick her out and all that. And uh, she basically get the gypsy woman gets on her knees, begging her to basically grant her the loan because she'll have nowhere to live and all that and uh essentially she says no so because she shamed this gypsy woman this gypsy woman curses her and says it'll be you that'll be coming back to me um and that basically sets it up the whole movie is her uh trying to deal with this curse trying to deal with this uh this like voodoo guy or this uh fortune teller guy to kind of get the curse out of her and that's essentially the story. I don't want to give away too much as far as the ending goes because there is a cool twist ending at the very last scene of this that is really cool. But um, I'm going to start with the negatives before I get to the positives just to get them out of the way. Too much CGI, like really shoddy CGI. Uh, this came out in 09, but still, at that time, I feel like CGI was better than this. I mean, that's one of my biggest gripes is I hate CGI, but um, he says... Basically, it's worse than I remembered it being. <clears throat> it may be because I'm seeing it on Blu-ray now or something. I don't know. But even the opening shot and during the seance shot and stuff, where I remember being really good, there's some really shoddy CGI uh, in those scenes that kind of take me out of it. And there's, like, some CGI blood and stuff. Uh, that's, that's pretty much my only complaint with it. And the fact that there's just too much silliness with it to really make the scares effective. All, and now, let me get to the positives now. Uh, the scene where she, the gypsy woman is in her car, I think is really effective. I think the camera work, the lighting, everything about that scene I think is really well done. Uh, I really love that scene. It's the highlight of the whole movie. Um, and there's a scene where she goes back to the bank after getting cursed and just she has it starts off with like a little nosebleed and then all of a sudden blood just squirting out of her nose drenching the bank teller dude and where it's just over the top unrealistic but it's still really cool for like a gross out gag um but yeah other than that it's a it's just a decent watch i mean i picked this up for like 15 bucks i think it was at, at best buy just because it was a scream factory release and i didn't own this movie beforehand um so yeah, it's cool to have in the collection now to go along with my other Sam Raimi movies, but if you already own this on Blu-ray, which I know I've seen them in the Walmart bins and stuff, just stick with that because realistically the transfer, from what I understand, isn't that much better than that release because uh, I had heard that that Blu-ray release was already pretty decent and this one's decent, but I gotta say this came out at the same time as the Strangers Blu-ray came out. And the new Strangers transfer really blew me away. I really dug that transfer. And this one didn't do that for me. It, the blacks and everything just weren't as strong. 
and Chris, it may just be the lighting with the Strangers, but see, the Strangers, to me, was worth a Blu-ray upgrade, where this one wasn't. Uh, especially given the fact that this new cover art, my opinion, sucks. Like, I really hate that cover art. I'm almost thinking about just throwing the slipcover away. I mean, I'm not going to, but yeah, I can't stand that new cover art. Uh, I dig this uh, the old cover art a little bit better, but even that cover art sucks too. This really could have done with some really cool cover art. Like, the dude who did texas chainsaw 2 and uh like black christmas he could have done a really badass cover art for this movie because it's like ripe for a good cover art line that's just really kind of boring but uh there's this has a new transfer of the unrated version and the theatrical cut um the theatrical cut and they're both on separate discs which is a plus uh the theatrical version has all the old special features from the old blu-ray and the unrated version has uh, To Hell and Back, a new interview with Allison Lohman, and uh, Curses, a new interview with Lorna Raver, and uh, an interview with the composer, the score. Uh, basically, the new the new features basically run like a total of like 40 minutes tops. So it's this really shouldn't have been a collector's edition. I feel like they were really scraping the bottom of the barrel with this release. Now, they must have signed some new deals because their last few releases have been or their last few announcements have been really really strong so this i think was like kind of like where where, where screen factory started dipping but they're picking themselves back up you know people didn't like the strangers release but i i love that release but yeah this one i'd even wait if this came down to 10 bucks pick it up but it ain't even worth 15 you know i'm not the biggest fan of the movie and i heard this has some problems there was no problems with mine but i guess the unrated version um it's the theatrical cut on some people's releases so they do have a return the disc type or a disc swap program where they will send you the redone disc but yeah uh i'm just not a big fan of this movie i give it like a five out of ten it's average at best i mean just just not my cup of tea but uh you know do it that what you will anyways guys peace